Hello again, everyone. Okay, I received uh, a couple of requests. Um, to be exact, I received three requests uh, to please film a video of the front part of the cabana. So I figured I'd do that for you today. Um, and as you can see, uh, here it is. <laughs> um, this isn't the original look. Um, if you guys remember from my roofing video, uh, the cabana had a, a stained uh, cedar. And then when we had the the house siding changed in uh, 2010. We also changed uh, the cabana siding as well. Um, this um, is just go along the front here. You can see we got a little glass block here, and this glass block, believe it or not, actually has uh, some fluorescent lights in it. So during the nighttime, we can turn it on through a switch inside, which is really nice. Um, the cabana still has the original roofing shingles. Uh, those have been up there since 1996. Um, but I think my parents said uh, in maybe a year or two uh, we'll consider um, uh, uh, getting that roof replaced and just make it the same as the uh, as the house over there. Um, and we'll go ahead and go inside. The uh, you can see the inside is still uh, cedar. Uh, we we didn't change the inside. Um, that this is the door that goes to the to the room with the uh, the storage room with the pump. It's probably extremely dark in here and maybe the light helps a little bit. So okay. Not going to focus on that today. Um, this is basically inside, you know, nothing too fancy. Uh, pretty decent size, I guess. Um, you could see uh, open shelving for like the coffee machines, the cups, all that stuff. Over here, we keep the uh, pots and pans, as you can see. And this closet right here is where we keep, uh, they're not in there yet, but this is where we keep all the towels for outside. And in fact, uh, that, that video I made of the washer washing those towels, it was actually the outside towels um, getting washed since the pool was closed recently by that point. And these are just the power switches. Um, uh, this is the uh, glass block, this is the outside overhang, oh, excuse me, and this is the inside right here. You can see the lights on the ceiling right there, and the lights on the uh, thing out there as well. Um, and I'll also... Um, no, I'm sorry. And also, uh, we're we're always in here, you know, when we have pool parties and such, you know, because there's the pool right there, and uh, you know, to cook all the food and all that good stuff. Um, get you a little shot of the refrigerator here. Uh, this refrigerator we've had actually since um, since 2004, I believe. Uh, the original refrigerator was that was like this, a top freezer model, but um, it was all white and it actually started rusting. So uh, we figured that my parents figured it was a good time to change it. It is a uh, it is a Kenmore refrigerator, more than, more than likely made by a, a Whirlpool. Get you a little quick little shot inside. Um, here's the refrigerator compartment. Uh, oh, I just banged onto a shelf. Good job. And um, we usually keep the sodas, you know, some beer, all that stuff. Um, it has uh, has a mechanical thermostat, which I'm happy about, and uh, a nice water dispenser. That's good to have. And the only thing that I think is electronical in here is. Wait, did I just say electronic? Yeah, I did. That's not a word. Uh, let me let me fix that. The only thing that's electronic in this refrigerator is the uh, defrost timer, which is uh, in here somewhere. And you can see it's a simple setup. And give you a shot of the freezer. Usual stuff. Uh, got a nice ice maker right there. And that's basically it. Don't want this to get too warm. Too much uh, moisture in there. Okay. And if you remember, um, the only repair that's ever been done on this refrigerator was, if you remember, um, last summer I said we had the refrigerator pulled out because uh, the uh, the water valve in the back uh, was leaking. But uh, that was actually user error because uh, when we had the water line, because uh, this happens when I'm in college, so, when I was in college rather, so I couldn't take care of it. Um, uh, whenever we would have the water pumped out of the lines for, you know, to winterize the cabana, uh, they didn't do the same with the refrigerator, so as a result, um, the, the, there was water in the water valve, and when it got below freezing outside, the water in there froze, and then the water valve cracked, so that had to get replaced. But thankfully, it was nothing too serious. Um, microwave, as you can see. This is the original microwave with the cabana. Had it since 96. Still works perfect. It has yellowed a little bit, and the top's gone a little black and, and a little rusty in some spots, but it works perfect, so we're not too concerned. And... We got a toaster oven here. I'd say we've had this for as long as we've had the refrigerator. Uh, the only problem with this setup is um, these three things all run on one circuit: the refrigerator, the microwave, and the toaster oven. So, as a result, you can't you cannot have all three of these going at the same time because if you do, uh, the circuit breaker in the back will trip. So you can only have two at most on at the same time. 
And we got ourselves a nice grill here, uh, stainless steel. We have um, we have an adapter here for a rotisserie, and this is the rotisserie burner back here, as you can see. Lots of space to get all the uh, things cooked and everything. Uh, what brand is this? Dynamic cooking systems. I've, I've never even heard of that. <laughs> and um, this is the um, stove top. Two burners. These burners are very powerful. Even on low, uh, they still they can still make. Uh, I'm going to say pasta sauce bubbles. So uh, they are very powerful burners. Um, and here's our sink. And actually, I want to tell you, this is our original sink. This is the sink that first started in the uh, house over there. And this sink is going on 22 years now. And and as the faucet, and as you can see, after 22 years. No leaks whatsoever. That tells you just how good quality it was back then. A 22-year-old faucet with no leaks. Um, this this sink was obviously moved out um, when we had the cabana finished. And then we had, um, you, you never saw it because it was long before YouTube existed, but uh, we had um, a white sink in the cabana, which was then replaced with a black sink, and now there's a stainless steel sink in there again. So, um, And this sink uh, is pretty shallow, but I mean, nothing big ever really happens out here, so it's okay. Um, and as you can see, it just works perfect. Um, and we also, down here, we have um, we have a little water heater because this is so far away from the main water heater, it would take forever for the hot water to get here. But uh, this water heater is pretty crappy. And what I mean by that is, if you run the water full blast, this thing runs out of hot water in like two minutes. So that's pretty bad. You have to run the hot water very slowly in order to make sure it can maintain it. So. I mean, you know, beggars can't be choosers. It's good to have this, but at the same time, it's just too bad it doesn't last very long. Um, and uh, obviously up here, um, actually here we have a clock. It's about 7, 7.09 in the evening. It's um, about 75 degrees here, I guess that's what that is. And up there we have, uh, that's an exhaust vent. You can see it's kind of greasy, but uh, that's for the grill. The switch is right there. I'll just turn it on. Nice and smooth. I actually have um, taken that um, grate off before and uh, soaked it in Clorox to help it uh, whiten up a bit. It did, but you know, there's no way to get it back to perfectly white like it used to be when we first got it. And we just got some spices on top of the refrigerator. And, and actually, you want to know what's funny? The floor is kind of damp right now. I don't know how well you can see that in the video, but what happens is since this is outside, like let's say we'll have a cool night then the next day following, it'll be a very humid day. All the since the, since the tile is so cold, all the humidity condenses on the floor. So as a result, uh, it looks it looked like um, it looked like a pipe broke or something. They're like the, the the tiles will just be completely covered with water. So, and that's why we have a floor drain there, I guess. You know, that's good to have. Um, so yeah, that can happen. But usually by the afternoon, it dries up. So that's pretty good. And um, what's good is uh, you can see how low that overhang goes. Um, that protects the inside of the cabana from, you know, a uh, big rainstorm. We've got a little wind chime right there. Big rainstorms and things of the like. And if you remember, we had this cabana uh, with the winter cover on because of, you know, Hurricane Irene when that came around. So uh, that did a perfect job, though. Everything um, worked okay. Um, and I guess that's basically it. Uh, maybe some point I'll make a nighttime shot just to show you what this looks like because uh, this camera uh, makes dark areas look pretty bright actually so I'm, this camera's from 2001 and I think it gives very good quality so um uh yeah I guess that's pretty much it guys uh anything else you want to see if you thought I missed uh just let me know um and that's uh, pretty much it all right so uh thanks for watching uh you know what actually on second thought I take that back um I uh, I noticed um there were the uh, cabinets down here which I didn't fully show, so I'll just show you what's in them. Um, here's a paper towel. This is underneath the sink. Paper towel rack, as you can see, and um, got a bunch of cleaning supplies down here uh, by the uh, sink and everything. And that's that. Um, the cabinet underneath the microwave and the toaster oven is just where we keep all the, all the um, maybe, maybe the light will help a little bit. Glasses, plates, utensils, all that good stuff. Okay. And then the last cabinet is under uh, underneath the grill and this contains uh most of the uh, drinks uh you know for margaritas and stuff all the all the liquor if you want to say that there's the gas valve for the uh grill and there's also a little coffee pot machine right there um and that pipe you see there that's just the air pipe for the uh for the uh, floor drain and the sink drain move these out 
Okay, now that should be everything, guys, okay? Um, and yeah, I should have covered everything I had to, so uh, now I'll say uh, thanks for watching.